You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, welcome back to CES Live 2015. I'm Callie Lewis. I'm John P. It's the last segment of the day. The last and the greatest of segment of all, of all time. time. With our because friend have... and the magnanimous, magnificent CEO of the CEA. I was expecting more, John. And omniscient, omni, omni everything. <laughs> get, the future, pre ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you the future president of the United States. Gary Shapiro. And dictator of Earth, <laughs> Gary Shapiro. <laughs> you know, of all the introductions I've ever gotten, that was, that was definitely the, the most recent. Oh yeah, there you no! go. Oh, wow. <laughs> but John, if I was ever the president of the United States, I think you would be a perfect secretary of defense. I would. Those I, knives. I, oh yeah, we all, we'll, we'll do it, we'll do Aye. it. But I will say this, if, I, I, if, if, if you ever become president and I become part of your cabinet, we're going to have to strike a deal. Are you already trying to vie for the... Look, it's the, political stuff. You have to, you have to, you know... I'm very disappointed in you, John. You have to work in the pork projects, right? So we have to have a policy of free gummies for all American citizens. Anyone who wants them, we have to have, we set gummy bear factories, gummy factories of all sorts. What, do the dentists get you hired? <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm now officially working for <laughs> and, the and, Dental uh, and the, Association. And Kelly, you'd be a wonderful ambassador to the United Nations, because you would just charm them all. Oh, That's true. you're too That's kind, true. too would. kind. What is your favorite candy, by the way? My favorite candy? Yeah. Peanut M&Ms. <gasps> Wait. Oh my God. That peanut is like one of my favorites too. Peanut oh my gosh. <laughs> peanut M&Ms or peanut butter M&Ms? Have you had peanut butter? Peanut M&Ms. Okay. Oh wait, yeah. peanut. Oh, I thought you were saying peanut, peanut. M&Ms. Oh. And, and they're not. And they're. He has been. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I see wait, how that works. Wait, do you like the peanut butter M&Ms? I don't know what peanut butter M&Ms <gasps> are. You need. Okay. You need sit. Oh, there I they are, right butter. there. Oh, that's just regular throw ones. Up here. Those are regular. Oh, oh those are it's just okay. Regular. Oh, okay. It's I okay. Knew it. She made me take them out of my pocket, you and I said I won't have them when I need them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> here we go. There we go. Oh, oh, oh Callie intercepted. Intercepted. I intercepted. There there Callie thank you. What a nice gift. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now, this is for you. Oh, I thank oh you. nice. Here's what you have to do. Next time you're buying them, look for the ones in the red package. Yes. They're peanut butter M and M's. Okay. Just try them once. Sugar free. Try. I would. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, and calorie of free they too. Are. And calorie free. I mean, you walk enough here at CES that it doesn't matter, right? So you, you know, can have eat you seen the M and M's with a special little package <gasps> on them? What is that? They have electronic Where's chips our... in them. They measure your digestive system. They were over there. You're joking, at, right? No, they were at the Sands Convention Center, oh. and uh, M and M was exhibiting, and you could see electronic M and M's measuring how your bodily works. I'm just making it up, but you know, it could happen. <laughs> that could happen, but you had me going for a minute. Uh, well, uh, you Gary, never know because you do see stuff like that. Crazy, amazing things here at CES. We saw some crazy. Tell us some. Tell well, us you know, some we of the crazy ones Eureka you've seen. Park, and I yeah. saw a yes. lot of great. There is a, this great, um, wonderful entrepreneur from Tennessee who had this um, basically earphones that you could talk on the phone with, listen to music, all sorts of stuff, but it was all jewelry. And it was totally like you you don't see the like the white cords we see on people walking around. I think and I saw that. Like Did the, you? The, like a decorative necklace, decorative but then it necklace. had little little Why ones that just come Why were you looking at up. necklaces, John P? Well, you know, I they match my high heeled shoes, so I okay. you know. But you know what's great? It was it was she's in an incubator, African American woman entrepreneur, very young from Tennessee. Um, mentored by one of our board members, I found out after. And then there's this, this woman that had a, has a product my wife is, thinks is the most exciting product of the show. Oh, yeah? Uh, it's a little sensitive. It's um, Okay, that's all right. We say hey. anything here on the show. We, Go for it. We asked you about your underwear. Is it a so. personal product? It's a, you know how we have wearable products like uh, Fitbits and things like uh -huh. that? Yes. And there's even products that you could put in clothing to measure. Yes. Well, this is for women to put inside them. Uh -huh. Okay. And it can tell for 48 hours when they are fertile, if they want to conceive or if they don't want to conceive. That's well, that's actually really useful yeah. because a lot of women have, uh, a, well, 
they go to the doctor, they have to track things, there are calendars for this sort of thing. I mean, and it's not exactly accurate, so I imagine that that kind of device would be more accurate than anything else. Yeah. It's very accurate and it gives you more time. Now, on the present devices, you put temperature, it's four hours, hurry up, honey. This one, yeah. 48 hours you have, and will also send a, a text message not only to you, but to, to your any partner. person you're dead. To your partner. Uh, or like partners. Or, hurry or home, whoever. whatever it takes, right? <laughs> hurry home. It's time right now. What's the name of the Do you remember the name of it? Prima Temp. Prima, Prima Temp. Temp. Very the interesting. The pro product is called what? Bloom. 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 That's very interesting. Anything else crazy? It's a, it's a cervical insert, as they say. There you go. Yes. Uh, anything and it, anything else you saw that was crazy? Oh, there were so many great products. What was See, the weirdest anyway. thing you saw? Well, that you can, might. Oh, the, there was a belt I saw last night that um, it tells you when you sit down, it expands for you. It tells you you've eaten too much <laughs> and you can just tell you anything you want. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Will it tweet it? Will it tweet it? As I well? imagine it's probably a signal to your smartphone. Yeah. Like should be interviewed by awesome. life. This is really it could, crazy. It could tweet you. You could like it could shame you into not eating so much. Right? Like, 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 uh, okay, I just were, expanded one yes. inch. Stop eating so much. And actually, there's all these great products out there that, that you know we have for our kids in a in a crib. We had this thing you put under the crib, and if the kids stop breathing, maybe they'll tell you. You'd always forget. The alarm would go up. This is actually stuff now that the babies can wear on their wrist, yeah. on their sock, on anywhere in their body. A lot of different products out there for infant care. Um, a lot of products. How come? I'm always talking about female products now. <laughs> I, I, was, I had, you know, I only had an hour to walk around the show and I did it with my wife, so I don't there know what to go. say. Uh, we oh, know the other who rules that household. But don't cool worry. A lot of, bre of breathalyzer products that will analyze your breath, not only for alcohol, but potentially for lung cancer. Diseases, for diseases and things, yes. and things like that's that. That's actually, that technology has come a long way Absolutely. in the last year and a half or so. Products that will measure your, your fields and your plantings, whether yes. they need water, respond to the sun, tell you what when you need water using solar, solar energy yeah. to right. do their work. The connected devices and the smart devices are, are huge this year. Yes. And, and, and la last year, you know, there was a lot, there were a lot of them, but the technology has evolved so much right now that I'm actually really interested in using them personally because I think they're actually practical at this point. I'm which still is really waiting. exciting for me. I, I, I am I'm excited about the iterations, the the next generations of the the, the smartness in the wearables and the home automation space. But what I'm still anxious to get to is the is the universal kind of user the simple user interface yes. and the universality like I want them to work the together more I, I invented that word you have to pay me every time you but I want them <laughs> to work together just a little more tightly and I think maybe maybe uh, give it two more years and then we're gonna have we're gonna see some of the things like BMW came here and they were demonstrating how the smartwatch really the smartwatch and the smartphone really, really integrate with their car. But what I want is, I want that to integrate with the car and, and the also phone, with my house. And the house. And, and with my the, office. And, and I the want, pet, you know what I mean? Right? And the pet, and the, and, and the baby monitor. And I want, I want, I don't know how, that's so complex, there's so much info, so much data. How to get it, how to get it to where just like my mom could easily integrate everything. Well, it's, do, you, that's, do you see that's that really as, challenging. as a future? Yes, of course. We'll go that way, but in the interim, we're a little spoiled. We have we are. these great I am, yeah. handheld devices, uh, phones and tablets, yes. and, they, and you have apps, and they work really good. They do. And for what you want, you usually want one thing. You want to monitor your home when you're away, and you could do a click, click, click. You could see whether your doors right. are opened, or there's moisture in it, or yes. what the temperature is, or, or watch people that are in your house ripping you off, and yeah. you decide whether to call the police, <laughs> or... Or file an insurance claim. Yeah, Online so, even. Yeah. No, I mean, so there's so many things you can do that the people, and we'll figure out what it is people want, and they will work together eventually. We will get there. Yeah. And then we will be complaining about something yeah. else. Yeah. What will we complain about then? I don't know, but it's. Uh, we'll always have something to complain about. We're human. Gary, we have, we have so many more years to go for this. So, my, actually, my favorite thing now that yeah. I realize it was actually driving in on that Mercedes. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, driverless yeah, car. She, you got to tell her about that. I know, I, actually, I spoke to uh, Dan Pigeon, the chairman of the CEA, uh, earlier this week, and uh, he told me all about that. So I, I was trying to get my butt over there to see it, but I didn't. Yeah, we didn't make it. You know, I always feel, so behind us, there's a third of a mile 
of a walk, surrounded by several several different yeah. rows of exhibits, and then there's another floor here. Yeah. And as far and as I got, it's right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. It's yeah. A, so I haven't seen most of the show. Uh, we have. Well, of course. We have. Do you want the numbers? What yes, yes, yes. You know, yes, you know, of I'm going we to write so, the numbers. Well, because I had asked you the other day, I said, "What's the? You know, tell us about how the show is doing." And you said, 2.2 million square feet of space, up from 2.05 or 06." Great memory from last year. And you said that we do not have the numbers until we get them audited for the actual attendance. Right. right. You can't have had that done yet. No, and we don't, and believe it or not, like even the last hour of the show, there are still people who are coming on site and registering. Just they might, have, to they might have been flying to Vegas for the weekend, yes. or, or they might have been in meetings all throughout the town and say, I want to see the floor and run through it. So I, just having come from by registration, seeing people register, yeah. it's shocking to me, but yes, they're doing it. So they're anyway, it. but- last, And the number of exhibitors? 30, we have over 3,600. 3, Last year we had less than that. But the difference in, is 150,000 square feet, yet it was still very crowded. It was just crowded when I came from right. the other facility. Um, in terms of, we had 160,000 people last year. We're well over that at, at this show. Well over it. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. Um, do you guys, I mean, are you well, going to wait, take wait, over you keep, Vegas? Wait, hang on a minute. You, keep, you say well over it like you know something that we ah. don't know. <laughs> what? What are you not telling us? Well, I know enough not to give you a number right now because oh. we want to make sure it's a good number. We want to clean it, but it, it yep. seems it, it's very high, but it was crowded for four days. One, you think you're going to hit 180? But, but the, let me finish. <laughs> so where we are, but where we are, though, is like another 150,000 square feet with all these additional people, and it's still crowded. Yeah, that's true. And we had a lot of people come from overseas. We yeah. definitely broke records there in double that's digits. Fantastic. So it's. It's good for the economy. It's but and and talking to I have yet to find an unhappy exhibitor as we were walking around. Eureka Park was hopping. Um, Eureka Park is expanded beyond belief. Three hundred and fifty companies versus two hundred and twenty-five last year. That's another one hundred and twenty-five. It's a I don't That's know sixty-four percent growth rate or something. Someone those and explain yeah. what Eureka Park is. Eureka. Oh, so the whole show is really run for like the Eureka Park type exhibitor, like that African American woman entrepreneur startup for a thousand dollars. You can get a complete setup of exhibit space and expose your idea. All you have to do is show up with your product, you know, a little signage maybe, and some four days worth of energy and two sets of right. shoes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and Eco and Rico was over in in, uh, in, the in, Eureka, in Eureka, Park. Eureka Park. Yes, we have all of our. Did you ride one of our Eco Rico scooters yet? I saw the scooter. I took a picture of it. But you didn't ride it. Part oh. of what. I saw there, as well as around the show that I did see, is solutions to real problems. So transportation. Yes. Yep. Transportation, getting around with it on scooters, on little cars, on driverless cars. Agriculture, I mentioned all these different things that measure the soil and do things automatically. Safety, you know, a lot of products for home safety, yeah. child safety, all sorts of things that monitor your kid or your dog or whatever. Um, and healthcare, so much here on healthcare. Yes. Uh, getting information to your doctor, using the cloud, yeah. analyzing, and we're keep getting better and better. I saw a great um, cardio product, a stethoscope, where you add a little thing at the end, and it gets you right onto the smartphone or onto your computer oh, wow. that, that you could see, and you could weigh it against what you had last time, and it's all click, click, click. And you know, so you can do it at home, or was well, it Well, I wouldn't not recommend it for you, Sidham. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Most okay. people don't walk around their own stethoscope unless you're right. married to a family of doctors. As but I I'm did. excited about that kind of technology because, mm -hmm. boy, this is this is bad because I hate doctors. And by, by the way, both, ah. of, both of my both of my in law both of my sister in laws are doctors. I don't really hate doctors. I hate the the you doctor like experience the lines because I don't like going. I, I don't like having to go to the doctor's office and wait and all that. But what I I love doctors. I love doctors. Oh, look at the but here's what I want. Here's what you. I want. Here's what I want. I For want, the audience, and no one is, yeah. knows what's going on. My wife is sitting right here. She's she a retina me. surgeon. She's a doctor. She's giving me the evil eye. And she just, does you understand how that she most days doesn't have time to pee yeah. because yeah. she's seeing patients because and fitting in emergencies. I know. And I'm digging a hole, but I'm about to <laughs> dig my way out. Here's me digging my way out. Here's what I want. What I want is I want the technology to intervene to make doctors' lives easier with me. So if I had, if I had a device that I don't have to even come to your office. 
you can, I could like plug it on somewhere and you get a feed straight from me. Imagine, that'll make everybody's life better. The doctor's office doesn't get so busy. You can get 90% of what you need from me. You cut down on a lot of kind of visits that are less critical if the technology could make us closer together without having to physically be there. And then we use like FaceTime type technology Absolutely. to talk. I mean, talk to your federal government. I they, know, because right they won't. Uh, they don't reimburse for uh, uh, doctors. I know. Yeah. For, and not only yeah. that, they set up the, the thing, so they incentivize it so you have to go twice to the doctor instead of going once because that's yep. how they pay doctors. I know. Yeah. We need to fix all that. And that's one of the things that you do as a CEO of the CEA is work uh, on behalf of the consumer electronics uh, world uh, with politicians to and advocate. With the government. So one of the things that, that, that was switching from the doctor but relevant, a yeah. large percentage of people, I'll say our age, you're a youngin', mm -hmm. uh, listen to rock and roll and we lose our hearing. What? Yeah. Now, <laughs> Thank you, but but these hearing aids, there's only a few companies, they charge several thousand dollars yeah. a piece. You have to go to a doctor, yes. and what we're advocating is rather than do it that way, let's do what we've done with eye, like with eyeglasses. There's products which you could just put yeah. in your ears for a, a couple of hundred dollars. Let's let those be sold through drugstores the way eyeglasses sure. are, but right now the federal government says you cannot advertise uh. and sell those products. Mm -hmm. Why? Those few hearing aid manufacturers, they've got what they want. They got them they have a stranglehold. So that's what we do. We fight for things. We fight for Uber. We fight for Airbnb. We fight for the new technologies and services which will make our life easier. We love that you do better. that. Hey, All uh, right. Uh, I was trying to motion to get we, it, uh, we, but Kevin way, wasn't really paying attention to my have, signals. Do you have more? <laughs> do you have more things to do, or are we your last thing? You are. You the, always how have I other celebrate. Things. So I go from here to our big staff event where we open champagne and celebrate the show. Well, well this year, oh my champagne. God. So now last year, last year oh, we had, a oh, you're gonna have to fix that, Kevin. There. Last year we had, we had some what champagne <laughs> and you did the honors for us. But this year we did, we did doing something a little different. I hope you approve. Do you like port? I, I but, like it. But let's see what you think. I thought we'd do a little port. That's great. Can so I bring my wife on stage? Yes, I hope come she on up. Dr. Malinowski, please up on stage. Yes, would you please come up <laughs> and, because and forgive and me for my, for my terrible comments previously and hopefully About I redeem doctors. myself. <laughs> I do love doctors. Take your badge off, honey. I love doctors. Renee, go on, get on up here. So, David, come on, let's get the team up here. You have to snap here. them together. Here, snap the bases Houston. together. Give me the bases. Can you James, me? Yes, Marcus. come on up. So, so we're going to assemble our own. Yeah. yeah assemble. It's BYO <laughs> glass. <laughs> okay, so yes, may I, the I will do the. The have been assembled. Gary, would you like to, you know, uh, uh, make okay. sure that we're Make, sure, make sure we're doing all right. <laughs> oh, no, we, we didn't put together. <laughs> okay, well, this is like a hack together type. We're going to have a little, we're, we're having a little <laughs> port here. Uh, oh, it smells good. It smells good. Where are the rest of our hosts? Oops. I'll take that one. Miriam, get up here. Every Keep them coming. <laughs> Do we have any underage, yes. uh, underage youths? Excuse me, uh, can I yes. see an ID, please? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So... As you guys know, hey, how we, you doing? we come here, CES, every year. We love uh, celebrating a successful year with Gary Shapiro. And um, I hope nice. you guys have enjoyed the coverage this year. Um, Geekbeat.tv slash CES live for all the coverage that you missed. You know, you want one? Thank you. I'll take yours if you want. No, that's all right. We got it. No, 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 no. That's it. Here. All Ooh. right. Oh. <laughs> Gary. Well, give me two. Here. There, go. there you go. Everybody got one? Everybody yep, have one? Here. Renee, do you need one? Who? who? I got, the, give I got the whole bottle. Here you go, Renee. I got the whole bottle, bottle, okay? So. All right. Great job, Geek Beat. Let's hear it to Geek Beat. Thanks Cheers. to the CA. Wonderful 2015. <laughs> all right. And to Thank all of you guys. guys who are watching, you were troopers to stick through. Oh wow, that's good. Four yes. days, it's good stuff, I'm right? I'm sorry, keep going. Yeah, you're troopers. Yeah, four days of a live continuous coverage, plus all the other stuff we've been putting out. I want to thank you on behalf of this entire team. We have the amazing Mobile Nations team, the yes. Geeky team. The Big Guy hand to all of our folks behind the scenes. Dave Curley and Ken Tran and Dave yes. Peterson and David Foster and all the other guys, Scott Ellis, who, who kept continuing to put this coverage out for you guys. Thank you so much. 
Any last words here, Callie? Yes, thank you to the entire team. You guys have made CES what it is. You've done a phenomenal job, and this is one of the most professional, coolest, funnest, and sexiest, may I yeah. say, John? Well, thank you very much. I work uh, hard at team it. Team there so. is. Thank you. Congratulations for a great CES. And thanks Cheers. to Ico Rico, Sadio, New Tech, and Ustream for uh, making this coverage happen. Yep. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye guys.